Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a cat cafe. So, I first built a cat cafe probably last year when I was playing PvE on the server I play on. I thought it'd be really fun to do something a bit different, so I thought why not teach you guys how to build your own. So cat cafes are really cutesy, they're very popular in Japan. I'm going to try and go for like a modern hipstery minimalistic look for my build. So I'm going to use the light grey concrete, but you're more than welcome to use like pink concrete or purple concrete or you could use blue or orange. Maybe you'll use orange because you really like tabby cats. It's completely up to you. So let's get started. So the base of our building here, you want to be going 11 blocks wide and then you want to be doing 16 blocks long. I did do 14 at first, but I thought let's do 16 and make it that extra two blocks longer. This will be a one story shop, but if you're building in a city or something like that, you're more than welcome to go several stories of Cat Cafe. You then at this front section here for your door, you want to go two blocks back and then join across. So this is basically the base of your cat cafe there. You can see it's kind of a long skinny city building, but yeah. So for our walls here, we're going to be going five blocks high. I'm just going to build this front door section and then I'll fill in the rest. So you want to be going the five blocks. You then want to be going two blocks across here. So you have a three block high space for your doorway. You then just want to remove the bottom doors there for a door and then put trap doors there for a thin white kind of ceiling. I think slabs are a bit too thick so the trap doors are a nice middle ground. So I have sped up and filled in all my walls now. We're going to be building the front little sign for our shop. So three blocks in on either side you want to be going three blocks high. And we're going to make the little front roof bit here as well just with some quartz stairs and slabs. But we're going to build a cute little kitty logo. So to do this, you just want to be grabbing some quartz staircases and we're going to be making some ears first. So to do that, you want to go like one block below the top roof bit there and just put your staircases like so facing inwards, place some blocks underneath, another block down in the middle and some slabs and there you go. It's a cute little cat face. So. If you want, you could also do some eyes. I'm going to do just the nose because I like how it looks, but there's the eyes as well if you wanted eyes. But I think just the little nose of the stone button is really cute. For another little cute factor for our cat cafe, I'm going to make a little sunshade here just with some white and pink wool blocks. You could do any color you want though. You could also do maybe like pink and purple or you could do orange and red. It's really up to you, but I just built a simple footpath so you can do whatever footpath you're doing for this, your city or your little town. I've just done this to just do a little bit out the front here. So we're going to add some plant pots. You could do all different colors. I'm probably going to do the pink terracotta to match my little shade sails that I have there, but you could do yellow, maybe you have a yellow and white shade sail. You could do gray if you've got a black and white shade sail, or you could do blue. I'm just going to do pink to match my shade sail, so I might also do a little bit of pink on the inside as well to match the front of my shop. I think it's good to have matching areas where you can in your store to kind of get a little bit of a theme going. So we're going to fill in the roof now. I will speed up ahead. All you want to do is do slabs. They look really good from underneath because they have a nice kind of smooth ceiling look. So, and you're not really going to see like the top of your building on top, so I think it's not too much of an issue. Now, if you have buildings next to your shop, you won't need this little overhang, but if you have a few gaps, then just do a little overhang like this. Just one block below on these sides, and then matching at the back bit. There we go. So you just have a little roof overhang now. So do this if you don't have any like buildings around you, but if you've built this in an apartment block, don't worry too much about that. Now we're going to focus on the inside and I'm going to make some holes for some windows here. We're going to do some thin ones at the back. 
You do want to leave a little bit of room though because we are going to be doing a kind of like jungle training gym thing for the wall for our kitties. So we're just going to focus windows more on one side here. But we will do some glass and I will have that done. There we go. So I just used the clear glass. You could use white glass as well though. And I did use the panes because it has a nice kind of level of depth to it. But we're going to go ahead and do our flooring. I am doing the birch logs because I like the colour that the planks have. When you have a smaller kind of room, you want to be going for a lighter colour wood to kind of open it up and make it feel bigger. So I have done the birch to kind of go with that theme and it also I think is a little bit more girly and kind of matches the light grey and the pink theme I have going on. For my doorway to match the flooring and again the theme I'm going to go for the birch doors but you could also possibly do like dark oak because that's quite modern or maybe even the jungle if you want a kind of like sliding door look. But in our cat cafe now we're going to make a little fenced off area near the door which is very important. You don't want your cats escaping from your cat cafe. You see this in Japan when people go to cat cafes or even cat cafes in your city. They tend to have a area right at the entrance of your cafe so the cats can't escape. So this is typically a fenced off area with a gate. I'm going to do the spruce fence post and a little gate to close off my area and I will close it off a little bit later on when you see my interiors. The next thing we're going to do here right at this section is build a little office desk, like a little reception desk. So you're not really wanting to build like a really really big one because you don't have a lot of space in your cat cafe. So we're going to build just a simple little sideways one here with a little till. I like to use stone staircases to kind of represent tills because they kind of have that like shape where you would have the drawer at the front and then at the back you've got your screen. And we're also going to put a little laptop here. You just got to play around with the, the paintings now because they go to the biggest size they can possible. Put a little plant, but we're doing a laptop because maybe you have people doing online bookings for your cat cafe to come at a certain time. So that's what we're doing there. Move this down. But there is a little desk for our front area now. The next thing we're going to focus on is lighting. So lighting is very important. I'm going to space mine out throughout the cafe. You don't really want it all bunched up in one row. You kind of want it spread out so you've got a nice level of lighting. So you don't want to be doing just three in a row like that. You probably want to do one towards the desk and then we'll move the front one as well. This one here. There we go. So you want it kind of spaced out like that. Now you have lots of options for lighting. If you're in like survival, PVE, probably go with the glowstone because it will be easier for you to get glowstone than other materials but if you are in creative or you're already a fair bit in the game I really recommend using beacons. They give a nice amount of light but they also are really modern and really represent ceiling lights well. You can see there that they've got the glass around them and the light but there we go. So I have finished the interiors of my cat cafe. You can see the pink coming through. I've done some curtains all my little like kitty kind of designs here you can find in my 30 different pet decoration video which I will link down below. But you can see I've got some seating around the window for people because you do need seating for people. I've got some pink carpet. Now as I mentioned earlier I've got a white trap door over the entrance so if the cat does climb up they can't go out the front door. You don't want that. There's my desk. I do have next to my desk a little refreshment area as well. Here's a little cat stand with some granite and a fence post. Now in cat cafes you don't get food because you don't want people feeding the cats. They only typically serve drinks. So I've made a little drink stand here. I've got green, blue, yellow and brown for like green tea, water, lemonade and coffee. I've just used some iron like blocks and some little... Um, what are they called? Item frames and little levers. I've got some plant pots next to it as well to look like cups so people can grab a cup and then go grab their drink. I have a little cat bed here and these are little like my two-story little like little cute little houses that I did in my pet video too. But yeah, 
And then here is my wall training thing I mentioned. So I use the white quartz and just kind of went up in levels as my kitty. You just want to make sure that they are connected because cats in Minecraft aren't going to jump across. So if you want it functional, you want to make sure that they're all joined. If you don't mind them looking real though and you don't really want it to be functional, make it kind of more spaced out. The last thing you want to do just to make sure for more security is place a little pressure plate there. So when people exit it automatically closes the door. You just don't want people coming like like leaving and then leaving a gate open and the door and then your cats get out. So this just kind of makes sure that the cats stay in. But there you go. There is how to build a really really cute caf cafe in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. But like always guys, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.